What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and well, I'm here with some news with regards to a game I have been looking forward since it was announced for the PS4. That game is Occubus Trip, Hellbound and Debriefed. For those not aware, Occubus Trip is a Japanese video game franchise by developer Acquire. With their latest game being Occupus Beat, released back in 2016 for the PS4. Now, Occupus Trip was originally released on the PSP back in 2011. With Occupus Trip, Hellbound and Debrief being dubbed as an HD remake of the PSP game. Now, personally, I wouldn't call it a remake. So... It's been, what, 10 years ago since Occupus Trip was released in 2011. Now, just by looking at it, you might be saying, well, this game looks okay-ish. And yes, that's a nice way to say it. Especially for a game referred as a remake, it doesn't look that good. But considering how it looked on the PSP, I personally think it looks fine. And to be honest, I'm fine with how it looks. I am more interested in the gameplay and just having a fun time. So if you're someone who is expecting that this game will be looking great, you will be disappointed. Now, this game was announced already a while back to be coming on the PS4 and PC, but it was only confirmed to come in Japan. Today we finally got a confirmation that is indeed coming to the West sometime in the summer. With a price of $39.99 digitally and $49.99 for a physical version dubbed the 10th Anniversary Edition. The 10th Anniversary Edition includes a physical copy of the game for PlayStation 4 or Switch, an art book with over 60 pages of newly commissioned art, an original illustration for Occubus Trip, Hellbound and Debriefed, and Occubus Trip, Undead and Undressed, and a two-disc official soundtrack containing 47 tracks. So I think prices are okay, $39.99 seems fine for me, and the physical version that is $49.99 seems to be getting some great things just for its price. So if you're a fan of the franchise, I think you should definitely check this edition out, just due to the price and the amount of things it contains. Now, the game is slated to come out in Japan, May 20 for both PS4 and the Switch, and later in the West, so I don't think it would be a long wait for the game to come out in the West. Now, the description provided says, Experience the acclaimed origin of the strip action RPG series in English for the very first time and return to the glittering streets of the golden age of Akihabara district circa 2011. Dive into the city underworld lurking in the shadows of this haven of otaku culture to uncover a vast vampiric conspiracy. Expose their plans and their bodies to the light of the day with advanced stripping techniques as a part of the self-style Akiba Freedom Fighters to make the streets safe for otakus once more. Now, in the game, the vampires are referred to as Kageyashis. The gameplay for this game is not turn-based, it's more action RPG, and it can be very interesting, ridiculous, and fun at times when engaging in combat. With the combat, you have the brawl action parts and the strip action parts, where when you damage the clothes of an enemy enough time, you can try and take them which you get to see a little bit in this trailer. Also, as you can see, there is a vast amount of weapons in the game and some can be quite ridiculous. I mean, you can beat enemies with a body pillow. And you're probably wondering, what's up with the stripping? Well, in the plot of the game, there are vampire creatures and clothes basically protects them from the sunlight. So you want to strip them and take their clothes off. So once they're exposed to the sunlight, they, they can die. So there's a reason as to why you're stripping people from their clothes. Another thing in the gameplay to point out is, in order to differentiate between the Kageyashi and normal humans, you have to use a camera to help you out. And like I said, the game can be quite fun and entertaining. In the end, I am looking forward to this game because I just want to enjoy the gameplay and have fun with it. Even though the game doesn't look that great for being dubbed a remake, and to some it could even be considered as a lazy HD port. 
But again, I think graphics shouldn't be everything as long as you're having fun with the game. And gameplay is more important, at least I see it that way. So yeah, I would definitely keep my eyes on this game. And I'm happy we're getting it here in the West. This is great news. And I'll definitely do an impressions when the game comes out for the West. So yeah, guys, what are your thoughts? Are you interested? Do you think maybe they should have put the time into a new sequel instead of this quote unquote remake? Feel free to leave your comments down below. This has been Oblivious Gamer, and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.